Thank you. Um, please, I think he was still at school when we started, but he's been involved with the club heavily and more increasingly over the last three years. He's working the desk on his own tonight. He's master. Guy's not here. So can you give a big, huge round of appreciation for our guy on the desk, Johnny Spruce. If you see uh, some cakes around, please help yourself. Uh, and let's uh, a round of applause, please, for the James Fee. Thank you. Come on. <laughs> How about that, ladies and gentlemen? Don't you just love acoustic open mic? And we've got a new bass guitar, and frankly, a better looking bass guitarist than Luca. Yeah. Yeah. Who is he? Who goes for that tall, dark, smouldering look? So, introducing the band, the resident drum whore <laughs> on drums, Mr. Phil Hurd. Again. He doesn't need to know the music, he just needs to hit something roughly in time. And he struggles with that sometimes, to be honest. I need to put my mic higher for this one. So David Bowie is dead. Glenn Fry is dead. And that leaves... Yeah, Terry Wogan. Jim has this great... Well, we call it suppository of lyrics. So that's the wrong sort of word. I don't know where they come from, but maybe this is the young lady coming on next. Um, she's a very regular watcher, lurker in terms of the internet. You know, lurking. What? You know, thinking, thinking. I could do that. I'm better than them. All that sort of stuff. Up until about how many months ago, Andrea? Was it that you popped your cherry? <laughs> She can't talk to me, she can't. <laughs> yeah. No, it can't be a year ago. Barry, help us out here. How long ago was it she did her first gig here? Yeah. September. September. So that's nearly a year ago, Andrea. <laughs> Fuck you now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, just while we're waiting for Oscar and George to get set up, I need to make you aware of an exciting new development. The First Thursday Music Club is branching out now, and we're having uh, a members' night. Don't get excited, ladies. It's the professionals. <laughs> He's got the cap on. Thank you very much. Sir. We normally blame someone, and I really don't know whose fault it's going to be, but we'll say it's Phil. Everyone watch Phil. No, 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 no. That was horrible. Come on, they deserve better than that. 
come on. Right. Everyone's here at George now. George, it's all on you. This is supposed to be a quick song. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I don't know how long ago we saw uh, these people come down independently. The Reading Massif made its way over. So, Raji used to come down on his own. Helen used to come down on, his own, on her own. Will, we need just a uh, Johnny come lately. But then a relationship developed and they became a duo and a couple. And Will is the product of that relationship. <laughs> Give it a minute. We do, we do this song and they take it in turns as to who's going to start it. So you can tell it's between these three. Me and Clive don't get involved. And uh, you might even know the song in a minute. Uh, so who should they watch this? Everyone can watch Phil this time because we normally say George. So if everyone could just look at Phil as they try to start this song. Has anyone got a drummer, a bassist and a lead guitarist that knows a little bit of Link 182? Anyone? We started off as a serious band and it sort of became a more sort of comedy thing as, the, as we got to know Phil. for nearly seven years and we very rarely get the opportunity to say thank you to someone who sets the tone, the style and quite frankly the slightly dubious humour of the first Thursday Music Club. So we'd like to thank Clive very much for coming along. <laughs> Seriously, this is Phil Westerman and the Westerman Westermanettes.